Hello everyone and welcome to another Town Hall 10 episode and this time we're gonna see Clutchness from my clan attacking this base. It's a war against Reddit Lithium, it's still going on and I'm gonna update probably two more about the results of this war. So when you're looking at a Town Hall 10 attack, you especially when you're doing an air attack, there are some things that you should consider. First of all is the air defenses, you can see the four of them, they're right here. Second thing is the Inferno Towers, one is here, one is here. The Queen is the third thing, Clan Castle is the fourth thing, and the Air Sweeper is the fifth thing. So before the, the Air Sweeper I was talking about four things, and now it became five things with the Air Sweeper. So those are the direction, and this is what you should draw to yourself before you attack an Atahol 10 base. So after you've done that, you want to decide where the kill squad is going to go. Whether it's going to be both heroes coming together from one location with golems or something like that. Maybe without the golems, it depends on the base. Or you want to split them out, do a queen walk on one side, king with a golem or without a golem in the other side. So when I looked first at this base, I was thinking that maybe the best way would be coming from here, taking out those two air defenses. That's going to be pretty easily, but when I thought about it, I noticed that most likely you're going to need two golems and both heroes coming from here because of this town hall over here. And there are a lot of chances that you won't be able to take out this Inferno Tower. Most likely, if you drop a jump spell here, for example, you're gonna take out the Queen, that's for sure. You're gonna take out both air defenses with high chances, but the problem is gonna be the Inferno. So you wanna try bring a small kill squad, which will do as much damage as possible, and a lot of damage, in my opinion, is taking out two air defenses, taking out one Inferno Tower, taking out the Queen, taking out the Clan Castle, and that's basically it. So if, if you're going to come from this direction without luring the clan castle, there's a Lava Hound that's going to come out as well. There's the Town Hall over here. It's going to be super complicated getting this Inferno Tower from here. And that's, that's a huge trap on this base, putting that Town Hall over there. And this definitely prevents you from going from that direction. So what Clutch noticed is that the Air Defense and Inferno Tower are right here. Also, the queen is running around this area, so so if he's going to be able to bring the king in this area, he's going to take out the queen in Inferno Tower for sure. Also, you notice that this, this air defense is pretty close to the wall, so if he's able to get his queen into that location, he's going to take out the clan castle as well as this air defense. So, this air sweeper points from here, so when this once this air defense is down, I'm gonna delete that. Once this air defense is down, this air sweeper is totally useless. And the only one to deal with is this air sweeper. And you can basically freeze the Inferno Tower and freeze spell for enough time to take out this air defense, the Inferno Tower and the, and the air sweeper together. So that's gonna be the plan. So first of all, he's gonna send two hogs. The clan castle is very easy to lure. It's, its range is something like that. And he's gonna send two hogs at this arch tower. They're gonna lure that Lava Hound to this direction. He's gonna drop the Queen over here, plus the healers, and break through the wall over here. So Queen is gonna go in this direction, get into this compartment, shoot down this air defense, and this is basically going to be the work of the Queen. Of course, she's gonna do more damage and take out some more buildings on the way, but that's her main job. And then he's gonna send the King. He's gonna go with the King from this direction, Drop a jump spell over here, break through the wall of course. Notice that he uses 7 wall breakers. He's gonna bring a golem with a king because even a level 40 king is not gonna be enough to take out the queen and take out this inferno tower and take out this air defense. That, that's, that's a lot for a king and basically he's gonna bring a golem with him. So that's gonna be the kill squad the kill squad job and after that he's left with this air sweeper he's left with this inferno this air defense and this air defense and this is totally nothing for three lava hounds there's gonna be another lava hound in the clan castle that's totally nothing for three lava hounds a free spell and a couple of heat spells and rage spells so yeah let's start seeing this attack so here come here comes the hogs Luring that clan castle. There's a lava hound, so you don't need to use a lot of troops to lure them out. Queen is dropped. She's gonna deal with that lava hound. And notice that he's dealing with that lava hound on the left side. There's nothing, pretty much nothing shooting 
at the queen, only the mortar, which is pretty much useless against a queen that, that is getting healed. And meanwhile, he's breaking through the wall, and this is going to make sure that the, the queen is going to go right into that compartment after taking out all those lava pups. So, queen is dealing with them. There are archers as well. He didn't use the ability yet, and now the queen is going to go right into that location. So, he drops a wizard as well. He's gonna help a bit. No, he was totally useless. He just he just died barely. He didn't even shoot anything. But never mind. So notice from the upper side he drops the golem, breaks through the wall now, golem goes right into that mortar. There are only two buildings over here. He drops the king on the right side, so there so so he won't go to the left side. I mean if you dropped your king in this direction there are high chances that he's gonna go from here and this is the reason he dropped it here so it's gonna go to this defense and then to the mortar so jump spell is dropped over here and you will notice how the king goes into the queen area there are skeleton traps that bring him over there and now he's gonna get the queen as well and meanwhile he can start sending the lava hounds two lava hounds are sent at the first air defense and in a second you're gonna see how he freezes them you gotta have the feeling of when to drop the free spell and this is something you gain with experience because you know how much time it's gonna take for the balloons to get to the inferno tower and and you gotta make sure that you do that right on time before your balloons die not too late not too early because if you drop that too early the freeze is gonna is gonna go out and kill your balloons and if you drop it too late the balloons are gonna be totally damaged and any wheeze tower just like this one is gonna shoot down a lot of balloons notice that he lost something like five balloons maybe more only to that wheeze tower so imagine if you wouldn't drop the, the the free spell on the inferno tower on time so hope you like it if you did bring your friends and clan mates to the channel and also don't forget checking the video about the 30k subscribers celebration so I, I made a video and you can comment over there and ask me questions and once I'm gonna reach 30k subscribers I'm gonna answer most of these questions and it's gonna be fun it's gonna be funny so go to that video and comment with your questions so yeah we'll see each other in the next video bye bye